Good morning, Tony Walker here. I'm gonna shut off the radio. You guys can hear me. How's it going out there? I think a few of you checked out my new uh, shed videos at night. Kind of fun. <laughs> Chilly old shed there with one light. I'm gonna buy one of those lights today though you see for sale now that you plug into your garage and it's got like four or five off that just make it almost like sunshine, eh? See if I can get something like that. So hey, we talked about tilts and carburetors. I showed you the one last night, rebuilding it for that old Canadiana. And uh, tonight now, hopefully I'll be able to fire that up for you. Uh, I just wanted to show you though, you know, I told you about the history of Tillotson and that fellow um, online that reached out to me and told me the facts too about him. So I looked it all up. Thanks very much for that. Uh, anyways, so yeah, they've been around since, uh, you know, in the late 40s, they developed the first diaphragm carburetor and been used on everything, you know, right from these super fast go-karts. You know, you're looking, I got go-kart stuff everywhere, right? But those guys all used the Tillotson-based carburetors, and I'll show you one right now. This one here is what you call, it's an Ibia, okay? This is an L5 Ibia. Look at the smooth bore in that thing. There's not even a screw in the butterfly, eh? This is going to go on one of my race saws that I'm going to build for next season. I don't know which one I'm building yet, but I'm going to build, build one. Might be a, one of the new 592 Husqvarna's with this carburetor um, and a tune pipe on it. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that, how they still use all the original tilts and stuff. Okay, this whole fuel pump diaphragm system, metering diaphragm system, needle and seat is exactly the same as it was in the early 50s, the late 40s when they first made it. Uh, and it still is that way to today. It's just all these other companies use this metering and fuel pump system to use on their carbs. So there's one type of a carb that these guys are building. These are from Switzerland and there's all sorts from Italy, uh, France, you name it. Different guys make different uh, bodies. Baroni, I think. There's a bunch of different ones, but Ibia have been the, one of the foremost good ones. This is off a, a Pirella Rejet engine, 100cc Rejet direct drive engine, but uh, you can use it on anything as long as you have a, an adapter plate for it. It's got the internal pulse right here, so you gotta make sure you got that set up right. Or you can always run a, a pulse from like your transfer port area, drill a little hole in the side of the fuel pump plate here, put a little spigot in there and run, run it with an external one. My dad's done that before and so have I on uh, some racing saws years ago. So let's just have a peek at the original Tillotson. I believe this is one of their original ones on this old Mercury Disson that I'm gonna get running here. There it is there, look at that, eh? Doesn't look much different, does it? Except for it's got a weird, way different metering lever, different needle. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get this working. It's got a little bit different pattern of a of a of a diaphragm, but I, I'm sure I can match the newer one up by making some holes, or I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll get it working. If not, maybe I'll adapt a newer one on. But I want to try to keep it original and get it running. My plan is with this one is to get get it running and we're me and buck and are gonna go gonna go buck with it because he likes his mercuries crazy about his mercuries so am i too i love mercuries my dad owns one and i've had one myself in the past I'd like to get another one so anyways uh oh yeah you know last night i was wearing that iel shirt eh here it is right here you know B bc's uh most powerful saw in those years so I think a couple of people commented on that. They're kind of cool shirt, but my friend Jambo's got them for sale. So maybe I'll put a, a link to uh, to him. He's got all sorts of different logging type old shirts uh, that he sells at his shop. So anyways, I'm uh, just doing a 550 Mark II here for Mr. Hunter. Mike, hey Mike, how's it going out there? I know you're going to watch this. So buddy, I'm going to have the 572 is already ready. I see you ordered a blower off Johnny. And I'll have this little uh, 550 Mark II ready for you, uh, uh, like hopefully Monday, and get stuff shipped out to you. Uh, just gonna make those dogs for it uh, maybe today, and uh, then I'll uh, assemble it and run it in on Monday and get it all happening for you. Thanks everyone for watching the those shed builds. It's kind of fun. Uh, Bucking sent me a beautiful message this morning. Thought it was uh, really nice that I'm doing that thing. I still have fun doing it, yes, buddy. So uh, I'm going to keep it up. 
and he's he's got one of my old um, saws at his place actually um i have a where is it on my mccullough chart here um uh, oh, where is it come on come on come on let's find it a mac 15 where is it 55 oh jeez. 77, 33, 430, 47. Jeez, it's not even on here. Huh. Oh, well. Four, 47, 430. Oh, I thought for sure it was on here. Well, I guess I'm wrong. It was an old um, one that I gave to Bucking, but uh, he's going to give it back to me because I'm going to rebuild it. And, and get it running to you. Oh, I thought it was on there. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Not a big deal. So anyways, hey. It's uh, TGF again. Friday. Tomorrow we have a, a go-kart practice day. An open kind of practice and fun day. But uh, it's supposed to rain like heck. So I'm not sure if me and Stevie are going to go down to it or not. So either way, I'll just maybe probably do some puttering around the house. And uh, maybe get that. Maybe go out and even cut with that old... Uh, Katie, I don't have to get it running tonight. I brought the chain next to you to work today. I'm going to give it a little file up. Get a hand file like they would have done in the old days. I'm not going to use my grinder. So keep your saw in the wood, stick in the ash, rub it around. Check the walkersawshop.com online store. And I just forgot, Gordy at BarkBox, West Coast Saws, did a great video yesterday using our new bars. He really liked them. He uh, was following a nice big fur that they actually had to jack over. Big limmy old sucker in a residential kind of area there. So thanks, Gordy, for doing that video. Very well done. I'm glad the bees didn't get you this time. Ha <laughs> ha. So hey, like I said on the on comment there too, when it's windy, don't be a dummy. Get back in the crummy. Go home. Wind is one of the worst things in falling. So be careful out there. Be kind to everyone. Have a great weekend and a good Friday. Bye.